Helen. I am a full-time um, master's student on the LLM Human Rights course at University of Strathclyde and today I'm going to be answering a few frequently asked questions by prospective um, master's students at Strathclyde within the law school. Um, so if you do have any questions pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you straight after this. Um, in the meantime first question um, was why did I decide to undertake a postgraduate degree? So my background is originally in marketing and events. I left school and came to Glasgow in 2012 to do a BA honours in media and communication, which I did at Glasgow Caledonian University. Um, I then worked full time for three years in the marketing department for an international FMCG company. Um, this was a lot of fun, very fast paced, um, and I learned a lot. But after three years, I just found that it wasn't having the personal impact on me that I wanted. Um, I wanted something that for me felt a little, little bit more rewarding. Um, I wanted to do something that gave back a little bit. So um, I made the decision to give up my career and go back to university um, and study human rights. I have always had a passion for human rights and um, specifically women's rights. My um, undergrad dissertation was also on women's rights in film. So it's definitely something that has been with me for a while. So um, yeah, I gave up my career and I've gone back to study full time to support a career change. Um, and I have to be honest, this wasn't difficult for me because I love learning. So it's been the right decision so far. Um, second question, how do I find the workload compared to an undergraduate degree? So I'm not going to lie, it is a massive jump, um, but if you love your subject, then that makes the world of difference. Um, so during my undergraduate degree, I worked three jobs during study and dissertation writing. Um, I really thrive whenever I'm busy um, and I've got structure to my day and I've got a routine. So um, the jobs really helped me just get my head down and be focused and um, structure my day and give me something to get up for um, because undergrad classes, just depending on what you study, um, obviously can be quite sparse. Um, the master's degree, uh, Whenever I was contemplating it, I very naively thought that I would be doing the same thing. Definitely not. Um, in the first couple of weeks, one of my lecturers sat me down and very kindly explained that the workload of a master's is um, equivalent pretty much to working a full time job. So it should be treated like that. Um, and I copped on very quickly. So um, although I do work a couple of days a week to support myself during the master's, um, I spend the majority of my time sort of working from eight until the morning until say five or six at night, sitting at my desk and um, studying, reading and um, writing assignments. Um, learning for my master's. Um, so yeah, the workload is intense um, and I wouldn't want to sort of lie about that, but because I love my subject, I don't mind and the day's going really quickly as well. So yeah. Um, the next question sort of leads on from that. It's what advice would I offer students starting a postgraduate degree? And I would definitely say, make sure you are invested in your topic and that you're really really interested in your topic and um, I as I say the workload is high so I can't imagine spending the time that I do spend on my masters um, and being motivated to learn and sort of develop my arguments and my thoughts and theories um, on different concepts if I wasn't interested and um, so yeah I would say do a master's because you want to learn about that topic don't do a master's for the sake of doing a master's because I mean, everybody's different, but I would seriously struggle to motivate myself and to sit down and, and learn if I wasn't passionate about what I was learning. So yeah, love your topic. Um, and then question number four is, how do I expect this postgraduate degree to enhance my career prospects? Um, so 
as the LLM and human rights so specific and not a lot of universities offer it, I'm hoping that um, whenever employers and recruiters are at the CV scanning um, stage of an application, um, that my CV will stand out. Um, if I then get invited to interview, it gives me something that I'm passionate and confident to talk about. Um, but most importantly for me, um, it, as I say, I don't have a legal background. So although I don't want to work um, directly in the legal sphere, I do want to move over to the third sector. Um, so that means working sort of for a charity or a social enterprise um, or a non-governmental organization um, or non-government funded um, body. Um, so although I could, go into a marketing position in, in one of those um, in, within the third sector. This degree gives me, it, it builds on my marketing and event skills, um, but it also makes me more credible to an employer. And um, it shows that I, A, am passionate enough to, about the, the subject of sort of human rights. And that's hopefully the sphere that I want to go into. Um, maybe a human rights charity or something like that. So it shows that I'm A, passionate about that topic to sit down and study a master's degree in it, but B, also I know a lot about that topic because I have studied a master's degree in it. So I'm hoping that that will differentiate me from another candidate um, and will give me that support that I was looking for to sort of take that next step of my career into a different sector. So yeah, um, that was all the questions for me today. Um, as I've said, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, but thanks for listening to me talk and have a lovely day, guys.